good morning my dear students welcome to edistar online math class in previous session we have revised about what is multiplication and properties of multiplication revision chapter 4 multiplication part 2 session multiplication using expanded notation method let us see this with the example multiply 325 into 7 here 7 is a one digit number so no need to expand that 7 325 it is a three digit number now expand the number 325 with their place value in 325 5 is in the ones place so 5 ones 2 is in the tens place 2 tens are 20 3 is in the hundreds place 3 into 100 which is equal to 300 so 325 which is equal to 300 plus 20 plus 5 now multiply 300 plus 20 plus 5 with 7 300 into 7 plus 20 into 7 plus 5 into 7 300 into 7 which is equal to 2100 plus 20 into 7 which is equal to 140 plus 5 sevens so are 35 So, two thousand one hundred plus one hundred forty plus thirty-five, which is equal to two thousand two hundred seventy-five. The answer is three hundred twenty-five into seven, which is equal to two thousand two hundred seventy-five. Next. multiplication by 10 100 and 1000 first multiplication by 10 when we multiply a number by 10 put a zero to the right side of the of that number look at this example 186 into 10 now we have to put zero to the right side of 186 so 186 into 10 which is equal to 1860 second multiply a number by 100 when we multiply a number by 100 100 put two zeros to the right side of that number for example 186 into 100 now we have to put two zeros to the right side of 186 so 186 into 100 which is equal to 18600 third multiply a number by 1000 when we multiply a number by 1000 put three zeros to the right side of that number for example 186 into 1000 now we have to put three zeros to the right side of 186 So one hundred eighty-six into one thousand, which is equal to one lakh eighty-six thousand. Next, we are going to see about multiplication by two-digit number. Example: multiply two thousand five hundred forty-seven by eighty-seven. Solution. First arrange the given numbers to multiply. 
87 is the multiplier. The number 2547 is the multiplicand. The number 2547. First multiply by the ones place digit of multiplier 87. The ones place digit of 87 is 7. So 2547 into 7 which is equal to 17829. Next the number 2547 multiplied by the tens place digit of multiplier 87. The tens place digit is 8. 8 tens are 80. So 2547 into 80 which is equal to 2,3760. Now, add the products of 2547 into 7 and 2547 into 80. So, 17,829 plus 2,3760 which is equal to 2 lakh 21,589. The answer is 2,547 into 87 which is equal to 2,21,589. Next, the number 2,547,000. I hope students you have understand well about multiplication by two digit number. Next, let us see about multiplication by three digit number. Look at this example. Multiply 2936 by 198. Here the bigger number 2936 is the multiplicand. And the smaller number 198 is the multiplier. Arrange the given numbers. Always start multiplication from the ones place digit like addition and subtraction. The multiplicand 2936 multiply by the ones place digit of multiplier 198. In 198, the ones place digit is 8. So, 2,936 into 8 which is equal to 23,488. Next, the multiplicand 2,936 multiply by the tens place digit of multiplier 198. In 198, the 10th place digit is 9. So, 2936 into 90, which is equal to 2,64,240. The multiplicand 2936 multiply by the Hundreds place digit of multiplier 198. In 198, the hundreds place digit is 1. So, 2936 into 100, which is equal to 2,93,600. Now, add the products of 2936 into 8, 2936 into 90 and 2936 into 100. So, 
which is equal to 5,81,328. The answer is 2,936 into 198, which is equal to 5,81,328. Next, we are going to see about estimation in multiplication. Let us see this with the example. Estimate the product of 81 into 67. Now, round off the given numbers. The first number 81. 81 is rounded off to 80. In 81, one's place digit is 1. 1 is less than 5. So, replace the one's place digit by 0. Keep the tens place digit as it is. So, 81 is rounded off to 80. The second number, 67. In 67, one's place digit is 7. 7 is greater than 5. So, replace the ones place digit by 0 and increase the tens place digit by 1. So, 67 is rounded up to 70. Now, multiply the estimated value of 81 into 67. Estimated value is 80 into 70 which is equal to 5600. The answer is estimated product of 81 into 67 is 5600. Next we will see about bad problems in multiplication. Look at this example. The weight of your box is 8485 grams. What is the total weight of 45 such boxes? While doing that problem, first we have to identify what information is given and what we have to find out and finally what operation we should perform first to identify the given information read the question one more time the weight of your box is 8485 grams what is the total weight of 45 such boxes. The given information is weight of one box is given 8485 grams. We have to find out the weight of 45 boxes. The weight of one box is given using that we have to find out the weight of 45 boxes. So, here what operation we have to perform? Yes, we have to perform multiplication. So, weight of 45 boxes which is equal to 8485 into 45. Here, 8485 is the multiplicand and 45 is the multiplier. In multiplier 45, the ones place digit is 5. 8485 into 5, which is equal to 42425. In multiplier 
45 tens place digit is 4 4 into 10 which is equal to 40 8485 into 40 which is equal to 3,39,400 now add the products of 8485 into 5 plus 8485 into 40 42425 plus 3,39,400 which is equal to 3,81,825. So the answer is weight of 45 boxes is 3,81,825 grams. Next class work chapter 14 data handling what is data data representation data in tabular form pictograph bar graph types of bar graph example solution x size 1 first sum solution of first sum second question solution of second question Copy this and all in your math note. In next class, get ready for the test in multiplication. Thank you students.